Hi guys, this is Satish from Falcon Reviews. Today we are going to see about the Flyme OS. First of all, I will show you about phone. You can see here Flyme OS version 4.5.3.2R that is based on Android 5.1.1 that is Lollipop. This port was done by Black Max. I'll come by one by one. Personalization options. You have Flyme style icons, system wallpapers. You can set system wallpapers. And here live wallpapers as usual and the launcher. Here account sections. So this one supports dual SIM as you can see here. You can see two of my SIM cards. It supports 3G also. This Wi Fi settings, Bluetooth, and this one is sound, everything as usual, and display settings here. Battery, and security. This is a screen lock password, vault settings, lock apps. You can lock the apps by your password. That means app locker is inside, I mean inbuilt. Your location services, language and time as usual, keyboard. Here is the app settings. I'll show the running apps. So 322 MB RAM free. That is, I removed many of bloatware from this room. I uninstalled many of the bloatware. and here this is this is a small smart touch button you can enable it and you can set these options like this is the smart uh, smart touch by single click, click on it it will come back and if you want the recent apps just double tap on it it will show you recent apps like that you can modify it you will see the options here and slide it down will be the notification bar and many other options I will show you some other. This is home screen. This is notification panels, quick settings, and here is the dialer. My contacts. So how this is how the dialer looks. I'll show you the messenger. This is messenger. And this is clock. And this is security. And the system cleaner is there. And the permission app, power saver mode, data compression, like setting up data, antivirus, many options are there. And some more like this painter, a photo editing app is there. It's very good. You can check it out when you're trying this. So calculator. Oh, these are my apps. Nothing new. You can enable. I mean, in default, the navigation keys will be enabled. You want? Uh, I will give you the link in the description. You can check the thread to get more information about this. I recommend you to delete the bloatware so that you you will get the system smoother. That's it. Thank you for watching.